Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bork Note Game video. Today's video is DK2, Clown Battle 1, April 2021, Day 3. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to be facing off against the Cyclops right here. And note this guy is an absolute monster. We're going to jump right here into Clash. I've tested this team multiple times. Please, Clash, do not fail on me now. I will make weird noises. I don't even care. Hopefully it does the correct damage I am hoping for, alright? We all know how when you do something in Trials and then you go into Clash, it does like the most heinous thing to you where someone dies. So please, Clash, Lord have mercy on RNG gods. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, the way this works is pretty much Yori is supposed to attract the rock aggro, all right? If she attracts the rock aggro, then it's working properly. Now, technically, sometimes Makoto and Kaori can get hit by this rock. That happens, it's understandable. The point is, is that rock gets distributed enough so that technically, Hyori, Makoto, and Kaori make it long enough through the fight so that technically no one dies until the end. And it technically should go in order where Hyori and then technically Makoto dies, all right? And when it comes to this, it's okay if people die during this run. The point is, is of course, the damage that we're going to be dishing out. You can see here, we're at the 20 second mark. We are currently dealing like roughly 700k. And yes, this is what I like to see. Hopefully RNG keeps going. Please. All right. We are still able to hang in there. Makoto needs to cast her UB before she pretty much passes out. Okay, Makoto, you're pretty much right there. She died. It's fine. We're at the 900k zone. This was the goal. Okay, I will take that. It's not like the best run, but it's an okay run. This is the run that I wanted to showcase to you. Yes, it's in Clash. I've hit like some higher numbers, but this is definitely one of the best that I can do when it comes to that. So hopefully with this comp that you just saw, you can use it in some ways. The key parts is Hyori matches the stars with pretty much Makoto and Kaori, or at least Kaori is at five star. The thing is, is if Kaori is at like technically like four star, right? Let's just show like what happens. She'll pretty much like die, like the tanks won't really work out. And let's go ahead and bring my Makoto since she's 4 star. We're going to run this team again with less stars. And of course the damage will be varying, but I want to show how much it will vary. Because it's kind of interesting to see stars really affect the fight this much. Because I would not be able to deal this damage if it wasn't for the fact that Hyori is 5 star, alright? If Hyori was 4 star... I dealt way less damage. I tried this team yesterday and I got like 700k and it just wasn't like running it for me. So when I saw like someone was like, hey, you know, you can get this number. Thank you to that person. You're absolutely amazing. I love you. And now we're going like this section where it's like 900. But when it comes to this, obviously it's harder to achieve. And Hyori wasn't really a thing to be main because a lot of people were like, no, you shouldn't focus on Hyori. You should focus on Monica or Tamaki and stuff like that. Yes, that is the case if you're working in PvP. Hyori for me was honestly a waifu because, you know, I have a thing for pretty much the ears and stuff because if you notice, like, the things that's happening with Hyori and Kaori, they have similar things with the ears, if you know what I mean. So they were waifus. So Hyori was just a happy accident in some ways where I just showed my dedication to her. But you can see here the damage is dramatically different, right? It is 749k. I would have lost out on 150k damage if... I ran the team with pretty much four stars, right? So now you can definitely tell how stars can play an important role on your DPS, okay? Let's go ahead and show the team that I'm going to be running for pigs just so you guys can see it. Maybe either Nozomi or Miyako. It's up to you which one you want to run. And then we're just going to go ahead and go with this Makoto. Now, I only picked Nozomi because she has some buffs. But the damage variant is like 10 to 20k. So you can go with either. Or one more pig comp that can actually work out for you. It's actually an interesting one that I like quite a bit. And I wish I could run it. But I don't have like the comps to pretty much pull it off. So you can see here pretty much everything's going fine. Tamaki. I did this yesterday. She acts as like, you know, the damage negator so that UB doesn't happen as often in order to pretty much keep our Makoto alive. Makoto is very prone to death in this situation. When she dies, pretty much my damage plummets. And I want to bring like a Yukari or something to pretty much keep her alive. But honestly, it's not worth it. And I've tried tanking with Makoto. There are some situations where she can do it. We're going to show a video on how that pretty much works. But it has to be for that specific situation, right? So note that 
waifus definitely can work depending on the comp like for example hyori doesn't work out that well on other bosses but when hyori is at five star with shinobu and with that comp specifically you know with kokoro at the end it just works right it's more about the stars like you saw which i don't like saying that but i just want you to know that is a thing and that is what's going to be occurring that is actually insanely high damage for that comp in particular but let's go ahead and show you something that's very very different you can see here suzume is on board suzume the maid the one that you know not everyone really advocates for but she is here she is with us let's go ahead and see this and note this is actually enraged pigs all right it's not even normal pigs so technically this is even harder but enraged pigs is actually better if you can survive it because you get more tp boost from the damage that he's going to be dealing all right so you can see here suzume is a defense breaker if you didn't know so the way this comp works is that yukari pretty much heals makoto and suzume heals the back line which is pretty much our archers Note that Suzume doesn't work out as well on a magical comp because I believe her pretty much defense reduction is only physical based, right? So let's wait for that UB that's pretty much going to be casted right here. And yeah, note that it's pretty much that one like, you know, blue shield sword thing. So there's no little staff. So that means it's physical oriented. Also, the damage is absolutely insane. Like it's jumping to like 400k already and it's at the 20 second mark. Note that the last 20 second mark, that's where all of the damage occurs. And it's one of the things that it's really weird to say that the last 20 seconds really matters but look at what's happening here we're at 520k can we reach 600k with this team with this suzume comp the one comp that technically shouldn't work yes this person was able to achieve 658k thank you to yi ting tiang song i don't know if i said that right whatsoever but that really opened my eyes if you're wondering bork did you try building suzume did you try this and yes I did try it. Was it as successful as the one you just saw? Let's go ahead and find out, all right? Suzume is right here at two star. All right, you can see here the fight is pretty much starting. Everything is going well so far. But as soon as everything pretty much boils down to it, Makoto cannot get enough heals from Yukari, okay? If Yukari had pretty much 8-6, this would be absolutely fine, but she's not 8-6. So Suzuna does absolutely great for pretty much the defense breaks. And if I timed it right, where I'm actually, you know, doing, you know, Suzume's defense break and I'm casting Suzuna's, you know, pretty much UB and Shori's UB at the appropriate times, then yes, I would deal more damage. But I'm definitely auto life. I don't trust myself with the manual button. I haven't had too much success with it. So I'm pretty much going to keep going down this route, okay? Now, you can sort of see in this team, like, there are weaknesses if you run it in auto, okay? And that's just going to be because, like, Suzume's UB is going to be a huge factor when casting, you know, pretty much the Archer UBs. This isn't bad damage. This is actually similar damage to my other team, right? Where I was running it with Tamaki. But the thing is, is Makoto dies here. It can actually deal almost like 500k if I just had like, you know, a better healer or Yukari can actually heal and my archers. But 450k is definitely respectable, especially since I'm not technically bringing, you know, Mitsuki or June. Now, this is just something that I wanted to showcase so that people are open to building units if you understand the mechanics of it, right? Because Suzume, she doesn't work in most situations. Just note that she is a back line defense breaker and back line healer. This is also RNG, right? It can vary from pretty much like half defense to more defense. Like she can defense break either for 40 or 80, depending on the situation. But anyways, I just wanted to showcase that Suzume one because it was absolutely bonkers. All right, let's go ahead and jump into some PvP as we always do. Now, with this one, technically I'm physical based, so Monica can increase her speed and everything, and Tamaki can do this. Hopefully Tamaki can take out that... Oh my gosh, technically, I should have brought Akari. That was my mistake. Well, we'll see. Hopefully the poison debuffs, like the little ticks, will take down the Miyako. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on that, but I'll definitely pray on the fact for it to happen. June goes down. That's perfectly fine. It is sort of to be expected. Those ticks of poison are helping take down that Miyako. If we can take all these units down right here, we should be okay. With Monika and Mitsuki pretty much working together, there is some hope left, okay? There is some hope left. We take down the Kyoka, which is absolutely phenomenal. 
hopefully this Nozomi can oh no Nozomi cannot stay alive all right this is where everything pretty much goes into clutch mode now let's go ahead and do this oh the misses don't turn into the ghosties okay we took down the Maho not too much there that Monica blind is huge can we take okay we managed to hit the Tamaki that's fine that's really good can we can we do this Mitsuki has to take it all in Mitsuki please Mitsuki please I don't know I don't know I don't know okay we managed to take that down Miyako no, Miyako and Maho, I've run into this situation before. They're just way too strong together. Okay, let's see. Now, as far as like clan battle and all that stuff goes, I feel like it's better than last clan battle. Only because I get to experiment with characters like Suzume and Hyori a little bit better. Suzume was still at 2 star by the way. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that. So it doesn't take too much investment to pretty much build her. And the Suzume shards that I got, they're probably from Dungeon. And if you're wondering, how did I get the rest? Yes, I DA'd for her. Because Suzume, she is a waifu. And I just wanted her to work because she's a maid. And who doesn't love a good maid waifu? And when it came down to it, I don't regret my decision. Because Suzume will definitely have her time to shine. Once I have the archers in place once i have yukari in the proper places but it was just something so cool when i saw it on video i was like oh man i gotta try that so thank you to zero way for pretty much sharing that suzume information he's always the one that's finding stuff thank you to sage for finding information as well all right let's go ahead and see how this pretty much flows we're keeping alive right here and note here this is like an absolute like aoe monster of a team because you have like hyori mimi Saren, mitsuki like they're all just coming at you at the same time and if Nozomi can hold the line right here, they're just pretty much going to be getting hit by AoE after AoE after AoE. I know that, you know, Shizuru is there to block the physical attacks, but there's so much stuff going on here. Now, this Miyako is definitely tanking everything like an absolute champ. And I know Shizuru actually has some heals on her. All right, we managed to take down that Miyako. Here is the clutch part. Can Shizuru stay alive? Second, seconds. All right. Six seconds left and we managed to take down that team. Definitely a hard one. Now, I also am very curious to run that team in actual battle arena. But, you know, we'll see how pretty much that works out. This is Reno comp. Hopefully we can stay alive, but I doubt Eriko can stay alive with this pretty much comp. And it's really strong because pretty much what happens, Lima stays back. That allows Mitsuki to poison everyone because everyone's so far up front. Not to mention Reno can kill everyone since everyone's so up front. So it's just one of those things where Reno comp, if you have enough power, then technically you can take it down. By enough power, what do I mean? You have pretty much like, you know, a little bit better gear, a little bit more stars. That's pretty much what it comes down to at some points in arena. When it comes to arena, it's more about stars. In CB, stars are one of those things where it's more important on your DPS. I want to talk about one more thing where I pretty much messed up. And this ran my Needle Creeper team from 700k to 600k. So I actually upgraded my Saren to 9.3. And we're going to go ahead and go into my clan battle and show my personal logs because this is something that hopefully you can avoid, all right? So you can see here, I dealt 734k on this team and then I dealt 676. It's the exact same team. The only difference is the fact that Saren went to 9-3, I believe. So that makes me super sad. Like June, Makoto, everyone's the same. Everyone's the same. But anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. 17,500 subs will be doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.